John? No, let's talk about bricks. Bricks today? Today. Okay. Uh, so a brick. What do you want to tell me about a brick? One house brick. One house brick. Well, let's look at the dimensions of it. That dimension there is 76 milli millimetres. 76 millimetres? 76 mil. That's 230 mil. Yeah. And the depth, this distance here is 110 mil. All right. You want to draw a brick or should I? Uh, I'll draw a brick. Now, I'm only going to draw one face of the brick because that's all we're interested in, and that is the face that you can see when you look at a brick wall, which is that one. So why, why are we going to talk about this? Because it's got no influence on the area of the wall. This part goes in toward the inner uh, interior of the house, so we're only looking at the area of the surface that we can see from outside. All right, so eventually once we know the area of that, we'll be able to figure out how many bricks go into a wall. That's do a the bunch idea. Of that's okay. the idea. So it's only this face that's going to count to make up the area of the wall. So we might just mark those dimensions. Joel, I'll put the um, 76 there. Yeah. And the 230 there. Millimetres. All right, so that's one brick. That's one house brick. Now how do, how do construction works, how do bricklayers figure out how many bricks should go in a wall? All right, well, we'll have to work out um, how many bricks you need to cover one square metre of area. All right, sounds and good. then we'll look at the area of the wall. Sounds good. All right, so is it just the area of the brick that a bricklayer needs to worry about? No, what you've got to remember is each brick is surrounded by mortar, which holds all the brick together as a solid wall. Now, if I represent this mortar just by... Adding this, and I'll just shade that. That is the mortar that we need to consider for one brick. Remember, there's mortar on this side, but we'll be counting the mortar here as being part of the area of the brick on this side. So we're so counting each brick, brick, mortar, mortar. That's correct. Brick, mortar. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So we need to work out then the effective area of one brick by including the mortar. Okay. And the mortar is 10 mils in uh, width, so that distance there is 10 mil. 10 mil. And 10 mil there. That's right. So effectively then, the length of one brick will be 240 mil, and the height of it, if you like, will be 86 mil. Cool. And it'll be those dimensions we'll use to calculate the effective area of one brick. I reckon these guys should be able to figure out the area of one brick, easy. In square, let's make it in square metres, boys. So you'll need to change these to metres by dividing by a thousand. So it'll be 0 0.240 multiplied by 0 0.86. 0 0.86? 0 0.086? Uh, excuse me, 0 0.086. All right. Well done, Joel. Because no worries. I'm going to grab a calculator. All right, so I've typed that into my calculator, and I get 0 0.02064. Now, that's the area of the brick in... Square metres. Metres squared, or square metres. All right, why do we do that? Because now what we want to do is use that figure to determine how many of these bricks will make up one square metre of the face of the wall. So in order to do that, that is the number of bricks per metre, We'll be dividing one square meter by 0 0.02064 square meters. Number of bricks per meter. Per meter, per square meter. All per meter squared, sorry yep. guys. Equals. One divided by. One divided by. 0 0.02064. 0 and that will give you an answer of approximately, actually exactly, 48.4. 48. 45. 45. To two. Decimal places. Now, a bricklayer doesn't need that sort of accuracy. He wants only a rough idea of how many bricks he's going to need before he starts building a wall. So, what's done is that figure is rounded to a nice round figure of 50. 50? So, they use the figure of 50 bricks per square metre of wall face. Okay, so the good news is that you've only got to do this once. That's right. And 
uh, once having seen it once and done it once, you just commit it to memory, and it makes calculating the number of bricks for a wall very, very simple. So every bricklayer in Australia knows would know that figure. Fifty bricks per square meter. That's what he works on. Yep. Because uh, for every job, they're going to have bricks left over. They'll break bricks while they're constructing. So he wants a, a rough idea only of how many bricks he's got. All right. Sounds mm. good. Uh, that's bricks per square meter.